perfect example of primary succession here today. Down here at beautiful South Beach, South Kingscliff. See, we've got the nice big sand dune here. That's Floki. And there's Roxy. And that's me. You don't get to see my face, just my, uh, just my shadow today. All right, so what we've got here is we've got a totally barren environment, not a lot of nutrient. And as we walk up through the dunes, we're going to come and see our primary colonizers. First primary colonizer we can see here is our spinifex able to stabilize the sand really well. You can see we've got this first dune here. Right, that the spin effects is stabilized. As we move through the dunes, we go into what we call a swale, which is the first dip in the dunes. Always nice to see a little bit of uh, native rubbish. Bit of two is new. Might take that one, take three for the sea. And we've got some other colonizers in here now. We've got one of our secondary colonizers. Here we've got our goat's foot vine. You can see that stringing through here and your goat's foot would only be found in an area where spinifex is already there. It can't, it's not a primary colonizer. You can start to see that there's all this sort of, all these, um, Roots are starting to bind the soil here really well. That's your spinifex roots all binding the soil, meaning that it's able to be colonized by your other colonizers. We move further back into the dune and we start to see some of our further secondary and tertiary colonizers that once again would only be able to inhabit this area after the spinifex has come in, after the goat's foot has come in and really started to stabilise this environment. So these are our casuarinas or she-oaks. And they'll bind up that soil. They'll also help to cool the area inland. The wind comes through these fingers that you see here, speeds up cools down as it moves through there. So the area actually behind here, not just because it's in the shade, but because of that wind is actually gonna cool the area down. We got lots of nice butterflies here today. We can see some other um, creeping colonizers. We've got pig face here. Another one of our secondary colonizers. You start to see some other grasses and stuff in here now some other different sort of plants. We move further up the dune. The reason that we see such a big dune here is because that spin effects has been able to stabilize this so well that it's just been able to keep building up more and more and more sand. So as we travel up the dune, we're gonna go over the back and we're gonna see more of our tertiary colonizers start to see some different vines. Obviously there's a fair bit of uh, human impact up here. This isn't a native grass that you see here. But when we move back into the dune here now, you see over here we've got a pandanus, pandanus palm. And when you look over the back here, we've got this really lush, area we've got macaranga we've got some other larger plants in here once again none of that would have happened if it wasn't for that spin effects that's colonized this area at the start and the build-up of sand that you see in this sand dune here is 
purely because of that. We can look down the beach there now. That's out to one of my favourite surf breaks, Cushion Reef. Not really working today. You can look down here and there's my daughters. One, there's Ali. Maya's chatting to someone, probably shouldn't be. And there we have um, Molly down there having a cry, I think. All right, I'm gonna wander back down. See who they're chatting to. Hopefully they're keeping their uh, 1.5 meter social distance. Looks like uh, one of Maya's mates from school, so she'll be happy because she hasn't seen him for so long. Dogs. And we come back down here and we're back into that real barren environment, not a lot of nutrient. But you see there, see that just this little log that you see here, that's enough to start trapping sand. And once that sand traps, it becomes an environment that we can actually have um, life starting to inhabit. So that's it for today. Hope you have a great day at school and I'll catch up with you soon. See you later. See, still got that can. Gonna go and uh, put her in the bin. <laughs>